Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we've got a set that has been inspired by bees. So actually recently, I came across a lot of videos that nail techs have done across YouTube that are inspired by bees. And it's so funny because I actually came across a bee plate from OU London that just recently got released on their, I guess, for their company or website. And um, I fell in love with their B plate, which I will show you guys in just a second. And I've just been waiting for it to come to film this video and post it. And the moment I came, I started watching YouTube and everyone's been doing the B nails. So I guess I'm hopping onto the trend. Here is my bot botanical collection plate number 20. And I've just fell in absolute love with it. I thought it was just absolutely beautiful. They've got a few more plates that came out in this collection. They're a bit more flowery and um they're nice but this one just completely spoke to me i do believe i did buy one more of their collections i think another plate in their collection that just got launched um i think some flowers so maybe you see that in the video i'm not sure but yeah the b one just spoke so clearly to me um and i did also end up buying a um b plate from clear jelly stamper which i think is called save the bees it's just because i fell in love with that plate so much when i first saw it get announced and i did also come across at some point about the um clear jelly stamper save the bees plate because i think i came across their video on youtube at some point and i fell in love with that one too i think i have a thing for bees so i did go ahead and Bought that one too so you might end up seeing a video sometime soon the nail design itself hasn't been created yet so we might be quite some time before you, you end up seeing a video on that plate and what kind of nail design i end up doing on it um but if you are, are interested don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you do get notified when i do end up posting that video it's definitely coming um but yeah so going to the video real quick we've got two black nails and i am now painting one that's fully that yellow color I believe that colour is called Milky Yellow from Venaliza. It's kind of the, the most yellowy appropriate colour that I could find from my collection to fit into this set. And at first I was slightly worried about the yellow shade, but it actually came out quite nicely. The gel polish itself isn't the... Uh, the best later on i'll be trying to do a french tip with that gel polish and it did not even like level out nicely it was just a slight pain bit of extra work but i guess that that's kind of what you get sometimes when you try to get affordable gel polishes some of them are a hit and some of them are just gonna have to be a miss and that i believe is one of those it's also not the prettiest of colors i'm not into yellows myself so yeah uh. but yeah this is what's gonna look like we've got two nudes two blacks and one yellow here we've got two coats now applied but they are not yet cured and of course in my good old fashion one of the nails is going to be sugared and in this set i decided to sugar the black nail i quite actually like the black nail sugar just because it kind of gives it almost like a silvery effect in person it's quite nice i quite like it and then the other nail we end up we are going to actually make it matte and we're gonna whack on some beautiful crystals so today's set is actually fully matte which I think actually worked out so nicely with the stamping we're going to do um, coming up in the video. I think it came out so nice. I quite like mattifying nails that have stamping on it. I feel like it kind of brings out the design even more. Um, but saying that, glossy top coat as well was quite nice. So now that the set is cured, I'm picking up one of those nude nails and I decided to go ahead and do a French. And for some reason, when I was filming today's video, it was just not working out for me. I don't know why, just me holding the nails, my hand kept shaking, I just couldn't get comfortable. It just felt like I wasn't in shot majority of the time, like just, it just wasn't working for me. Normally I'm so quick with my French outlines and here I was just faffing about, I just don't know what was happening. So you're gonna see me go in and out of frames and suddenly cut to pieces because I just had to do it off camera, just something wasn't going right. <laughs> um, I just, I don't know what was happening that day. I think I just haven't filmed for quite some time actually. So that's probably what happened, I'm out of practice. <laughs> so this is the bit where I use my nail art brush to kind of fill in that bottom part of the French tip, which is where it kind of gets a bit patchy and not what I kind of wanted, which is a bit frustrating, especially with the second coat. But I do go ahead and do that off camera. And I think I finished that off, off camera too. It was just too much hassle. So here is the two layers applied looking all nice and good. So I decided to stamp on the two yellow nails. So here is my Miley nail cleaner and I'm just putting on the lint free wipe and I'm going to wipe the two nails and I do that to get rid of the tacky layer and just kind of mattify the nail without actually having to waste your matte top coat and um, get it matte basically. Um, I've noticed that it transfers better. I've also watched a lot of YouTubers that decide to matte top coat a nail before stamping. So this is kind of my way of doing it without wasting any products 
Um, as you can obviously see, there are some residue that I had on my little lint-free wipe of the yellow. So here's the plate. We are going to use my clay jelly stamper, stamper, <laughs> and we're also using some Born Pretty um, stamping polish. So we've kind of got a nice variety of companies, all sorts here. Uh, we've got free Mo You London Clear Jelly and Born Pretty, and they all work perfectly together. I feel like practice makes perfect, and um even though of course if you buy everything from one company um you are just kind of increasing your probably chances of making everything work nice and more smoother for you but practice makes perfect um if you watch me for quite some time you know that i was struggling the first time ever when i filmed a video on stamping that was pretty much my first time ever ever where i was playing about with stamping and i hated it i even said in the video it's incredibly messy i just it just wasn't for me but the more i've played around with it the more i'm getting into it i just kind of want all the colors for stamping i want all the plates I I've probably got about 30 plates now in the span of like two months. That's how obsessed I recently became. The nail ideas you could create with these plates is just crazy. Uh, just, I would highly recommend, especially Bon Pretty products because they are so affordable and they work really nicely for me. Sometimes even better than, uh, than um, Clear Jelly Stamper. So if you are on the budget or you don't want to spend too much but still try stamping i really would recommend born pretty i love them so much i seem to always be kind of picking their stamping polishes i wish they did more colors and um different like yeah just more colors really i think they only got like a handful of colors um i wish they did all sorts of different shades because i know clear jelly stamper has a ton and a ton and a ton of different colors which is amazing for the variety and you're able to actually create what you want rather than kind of be limited to the colors you have so that's quite nice but quickly going back to the video as you saw for that french tip i decided to put a b right at the top of the nail and then followed by two honeycomb kind of shaped design at the bottom and now we're going to work on the full yellow nail and that one I decided to do a full cover kind of stamping. So here I'm picking it up and you have to be quite careful because the nail's longer. So I'm getting rid of any half designs so that when I stamp the second layer further down you won't be able to see that harsh kind of like half image on the nail. I hope that makes sense. I don't know if I'm <laughs> describing it well. I'm normally so bad at this. Um... But yeah, you're just not going to end up with half of an image right in the middle of the nail. It's just going to look awkward and you just be able to tell that clearly the stamping image was short and you just did a bad job transferring it over. So uh, that's my little technique. And you notice now when I start applying the polish for the second layer for the lower part of the nail, I missed the first like three little images right at the top because they are like you know half images so when I place it you'll be able to see that on the nail and of course you don't want that so um and that way also you're not wasting polish to um later you know try and take it off the stamper like I'm doing here now so that just kind of saves you time and polish so here I'm just stamping it I don't as you can see I sit on my left hand I like sit on the left hand side <laughs> so you guys don't actually see me stamping it but I'm just pressing it down here I noticed that there was a little bit that didn't transfer and you can just quickly go back and put it down as long as you line it up nicely you'll be golden it will literally transfer beautifully so this is what the nail looks like and I just love those little crowns with the bees I just think it's such a cool idea I love literally the whole play I'm just obsessed so now that the stamping has been applied and I've waited quite some time now for it to fully dry so we don't get any smudges I know um I believe I mentioned in my recent video well, at some point that I noticed that when you don't do the matte top coat and you just wipe it like I did and then do stamping if you go straight away with a top coat it smudges so I've noticed that the longer I wait the the more the chance of it not smudging of course the longer you brush your brush on the nail itself it will eventually smudge you have to be quite um careful not too harsh I, I you probably also noticed that I'm picking up quite a lot of top coat but that was literally just so I can float the top coat on top rather than like harshly brush the top coat on the nail i hope that makes sense <laughs> um so i'm just gently trying to apply the top coats uh, like i mentioned all of those nails shall be matte top coated so i'm using my matte top coat from venelisa and then once it gets all top coated we'll be able to work on our crystals so i actually recently got some yellow crystals i only got one size i think they're size eight from aliexpress and i felt like they would work so perfectly with this set so i decided to mix it with some clear silvery crystals here they are matte looking beautiful and i also noticed i actually have a little cute bee um in my collection of like little crystals and gems and uh, what have you so I will be using that in a moment on that new nail and I think it looks so beautiful I literally oh I just love this set so much I think I did do a B set before uh, maybe a month or two ago and I loved it but this one for some reason for me anyways hits different oh my god this one just hits 
so different and it's literally all just that plate i reckon it's just the designs i was able to create with that plate are just beautiful and they were so simple and it was just there's nothing crazy that i did there not i went you know i didn't go over the top trying to do all sorts of crazy things with that stamping plate i just picked a random picture and then just transferred it onto a nail like you would with any other stamping plate and it just looks beautiful so i honestly highly 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 recommend moe london i believe also quite often has sales on their website so you can get quite cheap plates on there i think i got one for like two pounds from um their little sell section so very affordable um they're not always the best best they're not my favorite sometimes just the, the pictures that they do on their place are not always something that's kind of eye-catching for me and makes me kind of get creative with it um but yeah but still a very good brand i definitely recommend for sure maybe they'll have designs that actually suit you more better than any other company so it's all probably up to your own personal styles so for the black nail, I decided to just scatter those crystals around. So it's just a scatter between the yellow and the silver. And I just decided to play about with the different sizes of silver crystals I have. And just scatter it all around the nail. So once that one gets cured, we'll be able to crack on with that nude nail. So for the nude nail, I did that kind of swoosh effect. Where um, you start in the middle and you kind of like drag it to each side. Ah, uh, no, I completely wrecked that one. <laughs> so you start in the middle and then the top bit goes to the right and then the bottom bit goes to the left. How about that? <laughs> so um, that's what I did. It's a quite often little technique I do now on these nails. It's just because of the shape of them. I feel like it just looks so nice with this kind of crystal placement. And here is my cute little bee. I think it looks so beautiful. I just love it. But because the gel that I'm using to adhere this to the nail is not very... How do I say it? It's not very thick. So you will notice that later we'll have to go off camera because my bee started sliding down. So you have to work either really quick or cure the bee first and then go in with those lines coming from the bee and then start just carefully um, working on your little crystal placements. Um, unless you're a master, then you can just do it all in once. But I was taking my time, <laughs> which is so funny because the first time I did it, I wasn't. I did it so quickly that I didn't have the issue of it falling. So I'm not sure what was going on. <laughs> Um, when I was doing it this time around, but I clearly was just taking way too much time and it started sliding down Maybe I was also kind of Holding the nail in such a way that it was falling and gravity was just doing its thing I'm not sure but here. I'm just mixing around some of those silver and yellow crystals just to kind of um, Do that line and of course the more I'm trying to use more crystals in the middle and then the further away I'm getting from the bead the less and smaller crystals I'm trying to use of course it did become a bit of a problem just because the yellow was just that one size So I had to somehow work around it So what I normally do is just place the yellow and then press uh, place one of the bigger crystals of silver Then place another yellow but a slightly smaller silver place another yellow and an even slightly smaller crystal So that's kind of what I was going for and it did I believe work. I feel like it looks kind of good <laughs> somewhat good anyways um and that will be our last nail so once i'm happy i will pop it into the lamp but of course before actually popping it in once again i do make sure everything's in line because i've had moments where i've applied crystals and by the time i actually put it into the lamp thinking it's all looking good i looked literally looked at it like three ten seconds ago it comes out of the lamp and it's all sorts of places it's not where i put it that's for sure so i'm showing you guys it here just before it goes into the lamp i make sure it's everywhere that i want it and this is the final result so i hope you guys liked it let me know if you guys like bee nails and if you'd like to see more because i am more than happy to do more and yeah so i hope you guys liked it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys